You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Today I am here with one of my frequent flyers, Arnie Danielson. Welcome, Arnie. Hello, Mark. It's nice to see you again. Pleasure to see you. You got another great event coming up at the end of August. You know, much to everyone's surprise, certainly mine, this is year number five for the Downtown Brockton Arts and Music Festival. And we've grown every year. We started out with 350, 400 people or so. 1,800 people last year were expecting 2,500 and maybe a few more this year. We're moving the music venue out into Finney Park on the corner of Crescent and Montello. Mm -hmm. So it will be a little bit more open in that regard. Many of the vendors have asked to be away from the stage, so we're going to accommodate them. But the big news is that the art show this year is going to be staged for a full month. It'll hang the last weekend the last week in August through the last week in September in the Enzo Flats Gallery in the new Trinity development. Mm. Trinity has become a partner in this endeavor and this is very exciting for us. We Brockton Arts have taken a permanent home at 33 Dover Street in what is now the Stacey Adams Cultural Arts Building mm -hmm. and we will be staging a show there, a retrospective of our artistic work with the Haitian Artists Assembly and their Jacques Mel project. And I had gone to that and asked if I could have a shuttle bus. And after an initial, well, I don't know about that, we are going to stage an other show inside the Bat Station. Local artist John Adams has created a series, let's say an attachment method that pleases the Bat people. And now this is community outreach. Mm -hmm. So on festival day from noon until 5, there will be a shuttle bus at each of those four locations every 20 minutes to move and drive people around and talk a little bit about the city, mm -hmm. show them parts of the city they maybe have not seen. We're very excited. Let's back up. Back. Festival day is? Saturday, August 29th. The show starts at 11 o'clock in the morning. It runs through sunset, which will be about 7, 7.15 or so. The last official act goes on at 6. And we've got a wonderful lineup. George and Jeff Johnson and Electra 225 are back. Mm -hmm. Professor Harp is back. We have a couple of local and now regional, if not broadly regional acts. And this would be Sadie Veda and Cruel Miracle. Mm -hmm. This would be Notoriety. This would also be the young hip hop dance performance duo Dark Matter. They will be with us also. We're also bringing Christopher Johnson, and he is a very dynamic, dramatic spoken word artist with his band. Entropy, and we're bringing an internationally known folk rock performer named Jennifer Matthews. She will be bringing an accompanist, and I understand she may also be bringing a cellist to play with her. Wow. So we're expecting a wonderful day. There will be activities for kids, there will be the usual flanks of local nonprofits, there will be some local businesses and banks who are beginning to see the creative economy that we've all been talking about. We're now all appealing to all the same people. Mm -hmm. We want a better city. These festivals are our avenue toward that better city. And we've developed a really, a really wonderful set of partners in doing this, yourself and this organization among them. And I, I'm thrilled. This is everything that we've all been talking about. And I couldn't, I swear, I couldn't be happier. Food. What about if food? Food will be there. Um, Lady C and J Soul Food will be there. There will be ribs and chicken. There'll be barbecue. There'll be hamburgers, dogs. There'll be ice cream. And I am talking about bringing in a buffet. So we've got equal food service on both sides. There'll be a little. There'll be a few sweeties involved. That stuff is still a work in progress, getting all of those parts in place. But hospitality counts. Style counts. Activity for everybody counts. The welcome that says, please come out and play with us matters. We want everyone. And getting people around counts. And uh, the whole Enzo Flats thing you're talking about, and for the viewers that don't know, that is the corner of Montello that's, that's the and Center That's the corner Center of Montello Street. and Center. That is the first phase of a brand new, very progressive development project downtown. They reached out to we as members of the local artistic community. Can you help us? and we have found legitimate friends and legitimate partners. Now, I believe what's, what's actually happening is we are all beginning to realize in a very practical sense that we all need each other. Mm -hmm. And if we work together a little bit more comprehensively, we all get the city that we all think we remember. 
and we're getting closer. I can feel it. I can see it every day. The city is looking better and feeling better, and I'm thrilled to be a small part of that. This is great stuff. This okay. is great stuff. And you're very humble because small part <laughs> doesn't begin to... You have a whole group that you work with, and I know one of our staff members here, Aaron Tebow, Aaron is very Tebow. involved. We have um, a very broadly based board of directors mm -hmm. from across the city's social and cultural spectrum. Professionals from attorneys to consultants, all manner of people who share, who share the basic vision. If we want a better city, it's our obligation to move in that direction and bring people with us who share the same vision. Phone number, website, where what? can people look for all of the stuff that we're talking about? The website is brocktonarts.org. You can Google Brockton Arts and you can find the entire range of activity. There's the Night Slime at Massasoit, there's the writing workshop at Fuller, there is the poetry open mic that is now at Elvira's Cafe downtown in a wonderful place if you've not been there. Mm -hmm. The idea is to sell each other, sell ourselves simultaneously, but BrocktonArts.org, and if you want to contact me directly, the number is 508 326 nine nine seven one and as you can tell and you already know this i love to talk no kidding <laughs> i love it Arnie. it's great it's great it's great um so saturday august 29th august 29th 11, 11 to 7 11 to 7 a great time for everybody the three art shows that i mentioned one at enso flats one at 33 dover and that space we are going to brand as gallery 33 mm -hmm. and one at the bat station each of those shows will hang for a month the last week in August and the first three weeks in September, and then they're all going to get changed out and we're going to do it all again. We're going to attract and welcome and entertain audience and we're going to send everybody home wanting to come back. We have a lot to offer. Question. Can someone become a member of Brockton Arts? Do you have a membership? Do you have an organization? How does that No, work? actually we are not. And in our bylaws, we are not a membership organization. We are a support and advocacy organization. Mm -hmm. We fundamentally raise money to spend money for the common good, and we foster e programs as they come to us and as they develop, and we raise money to support those. But that question get a gets asked a lot, and it's something that the board is beginning to talk about talking about. It would be an interesting thing to do, but and you know this, Everybody in town is very, very busy. Everybody needs an extra six hours a day just to fill things in. Absolutely. Our job is to effectively use the resource that comes to us. And there is wonderful resource over the, all over the city. There are tremendously talented people. There are venues that go begging. We are communicators, connecting points, and pleased to play the role because we have at least what I consider to be a developing art scene inside this city that is recognized all over the region. Well, so there's much to be proud of. Congratulations. We're going to be there, but it doesn't replace people going there. So I'm We want everybody to show Finney Park, the Salisbury Book Park on the corner of Crescent and Montello, downtown Brockton, downtown Brockton's Arts and Music Festival number five. A great day for everybody. Plenty of parking, folks to help, good food, good fun, good music, stuff for your kids, a place to hang out for the day and be very proud of your community. Please come out and play with us. Come and join us. Tell your thank friends. You. Bring your friends. Mark, as always, thank you so much. Same here. Appreciate so everything much. you do. Um, you are watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.